Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Reese. John Lucan, I will be your news anchors for today, Tuesday, December 20th, 2022. Did you know that today is National Games Day? Here's John Luke with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Wally, South Carolina is 32 degrees. Today's high is 44 degrees. The low tonight is 38 degrees. The, f- the forecast for today is cloudy, chilly, and 40% chance of rain later today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the Palmetto State, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions, be on board with learning, act responsibly, and respect others. Now for a moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have mozzarella cheese sticks or ham and cheese wraps. Crowder's Creek would like to wish a happy birthday to, on Sunday, December 18th, Levi Barnes, William Buckholz, Landon Payne, Angelina Cereza, Paula Huerta, and Kyle Lyons, and Miss Dentico. On Monday, December 19th, Gabrielle Bainey, Charlie Colson, Isabella Contreras, Grace Lee Davis, Sophia Doris, Sydney Millette, and Madison Rodriguez. And today on December 20th, Leah Amati and Sawyer Velazquez. Happy birthday. Today's winners of the Book Machine Token are in Miss Prater's second grade class, Lexi Lancaster, and in Miss Davis's third grade class, Kathleen Payne. Congratulations to the students. Attention students. It is time to sign up for our school spelling bee. If you are a good speller, love to read or love words and writing, this competition may be for you. This is open to any third, fourth, or fifth grader. If you want to participate in this exciting competition, first, sign up with your ELA teacher. Second, you will take an online spelling test after Christmas break. This is the first round of the competition. Next, the top spellers will move on to the Crowder's Creek School Wide Spelling Bee. Then, The top three spellers will move on to compete in the district-wide spelling bee in February. And from there, our top spellers get to compete in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you are interested, let your ELA teacher know as soon as possible. Hey, it's Mr. Palmer here. I'm here to talk to you today about some bus expectations and, uh, and, and bus rules. This is... You know, this definitely applies to you if you ride the bus to and from school every day, but it's also good for all of us that we might be riding the bus to a field trip or um, you might need to take the bus. You just never know when you have. So it's good for all of us to know these rules and expectations. Um, What we have is we have a a little matrix for bus, B-U-S, and uh, this matrix will help us to remember and understand what our expectations are for when we're riding the bus. The B is for be responsible, the U is for use respect, and the S is for us to stay safe. Uh, Under that uh, umbrella of being responsible, we want to make sure that we are being on time, ready to board the bus, so that we share the seat. This has been an issue for students that don't want to share and give up that space. Um, You will almost never have a seat to yourself on the bus. You always have to share and be nice to your friend. Uh, We keep everything in our book bag. We don't want to be taking things out that can get lost or fall under the seat or uh, be used to be thrown around. Uh, If we see something, please speak up and say something. Uh, The bus driver is focused on driving, looking at the road, and we we can't help and we don't know what uh, what isn't reported. So let us know if you see some unsafe behavior. Under uh, using respect on the bus. When we use respect, we want to follow the directions of the adult. That's an expectation no matter where you are in a school setting. We want to take care of the bus. We have, we've had issues with students, you know, drawing on seats or, or, or um, digging or cutting into the fabric of the seat. We don't want to do that. We want to take care of it so it stays nice for all of us. We give respect to get respect, right? If you, if you expect to be somebody who has shown respect, you have to give others respect in return. 
Uh, use kind words and school language, right? That's a universal expectation for anywhere. Use kind words. Underneath safety, we want to make sure that for safety that we enter and exit the bus safely. That looks like walking. Walking on and walking off the steps of the bus, walking down the aisle. That does not mean running, jumping, skipping. Those are all unsafe behaviors because that those steps are often very slippery. Uh, once we're in our seat, we have to stay in our seat with our bottom on the seat facing forward. We should not be bouncing up and down, facing the rear. We should be staying in our seat so that we're safe and don't fall because you never know what could happen out with the bus on the roads. We keep the aisle clear at all times. Your legs, hands, feet and should not be out in the aisle. Your legs should be facing the forward, within the seat. Um, and then, of course, we want to use a quiet voice. Why is it important that we use an inside or a quiet voice on the bus? The reason is, is because the bus driver is trying to focus and, con and concentrate on driving the bus on the road to make sure you guys are all safe. Um, your parents do not allow you to act crazy and be loud when they're driving for your safety, so the same applies for the bus. We uh, appreciate in advance you guys following these expectations and rules for everyone's safety and so that we don't have to follow through with any discipline, uh, bus suspensions, and those type of things. Um, thank you, and you guys have a great day at Crowder's Creek. Good morning. We are celebrating the winter holidays with the 12 days of holiday spirit at Crowder's Creek. Each school day will be a different dress up spirit day that you can participate in. Today's spirit day is wear a tropical outfit and sunglasses. Tomorrow the spirit day will be tacky holiday sweater day. I really didn't have a tacky holiday sweater so I wore this one. I hope this will do. Wear a tacky holiday sweater or sweatshirt or t-shirt tomorrow. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCCE Morning Show. Have a great day.